This video is brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Visit amsoil.com for more information. Hey guys, Greg Jones with Engine Builder here. We're at UCC 2021, day two. Next to me is John Sherrado of Granby Truck Shop. John, thanks for having us out. I know you guys are in the middle of competition here and uh, it's dyno day for the UCC competitors. Um, but we'd love to know a little bit more about your truck and engine, and engine setup. Um, so can you run us through kind of what you guys are yeah. doing this year? Yeah, so we've got, uh, it's a P-pump engine, so kind of older technology, but it's got a couple different things that are more uncommon. Um, I mean, the P-pump itself is uncommon nowadays, but. Yeah, and I, I understand that you're one of three guys running a, the mechanical uh, setup? Yep, I think there's only three of us. Okay. So, and our setup is way different than theirs uh, because we originally we had a 12 millimeter pump on it which is the size of like the stock size um, and obviously the pump's not stock but it had 12, 12 millimeter plungers and barrels in it and we set it up kind of like that because we had a theory that it would work would react to nitrous better and be a little bit more predictable which um, being mechanical it's kind of like driving with a light switch so just the truck's either on or off and uh, we were trying to figure out a way to bring the power in smoother to make it stick and still not be down on power. So that's kind of where we started playing with nitrous. And um, we just had the pump set up and we had three kits on progressively and it worked pretty good on fuel only. Um, it went on a shakedown pass like 117 miles an hour and then uh, we ramped the nitrous in and it was going like 133 by the end of the day and yesterday was the first hit on it so we couldn't really dial it in before that but but yeah so it is a little different in that aspect nitrous and and the mechanical setup but so john tell the folks a little bit about what you got inside of it i know you guys built most of it in-house at granby yep. so yeah so that was another thing with how the um how everything's been the last year a lot of companies are on eternal back order and so we use uh we use diamond pistons in it and we had an issue with it uh, testing for this event in prior times where the engine got a little warm. I was familiar with wet blocks and when we went to a solid block, they obviously do different things with heat and the swelling was in different spots. And so long story short, we got it to like 200 degree oil temp and coming from the wet block world, I was kind of like, no big deal. Uh, then it started getting a little bit of blow by and we realized we need to rebuild it. So we took it apart and we found that the thrust side uh, was kind of scuffed up on the pistons. So we uh, couldn't get pistons in time. So we ended up twisting the piston 180 degrees, flipped them over, cut new oil, like for the J squirters for the pistons, cut new grooves in them so that the oil squirter was on the right side. So we had a fresh thrust surface, uh, but it's also the pockets for the valve reliefs are in different spots since the valves in a four valve in this four valve head are not even. So uh, the valve reliefs would no longer work. So we also had to mill the tops of the pistons down, lowering compression. Yeah. And uh, so we run really high compression compared to most. You had, you had to get creative with it. Yeah. So typically we run 16 and a half. So we were down like 15.1 and it didn't, uh, we didn't really lose much on it. That's honestly more common for engines like this. So we were unsure how it was gonna work, but we wanted to make sure it had a fresh thrust surface. So on top of that, uh, my dad, he has a, like a boring, an old school like boring tool that we, with an air drill and he used to do it a long time ago, like the 70s and 80s <laughs> and even though that's uncommon now, like we bored this in the shop two weeks ago with an air drill and a boring tool, Bridgeport mill on the pistons and put it together. Obviously it was all as meticulous as we could be with it, but yeah, but yeah I mean that's that's how it is and I'm super happy with it. It has no blow by that seated the rings perfectly. Everything has been great with it. So awesome. I couldn't be happier. <laughs> As John is talking about, you got to get creative sometimes to show up at these events. And you know, there's there's a few competitors that I know had to drop out because yeah. you know, their issues couldn't get fixed in time or they just weren't quite ready. So that, that's somehow sometimes how it goes. Yeah. But John, anything else on the engine you want to mention? Uh, yeah. You know, we talked a little bit about the fuel. Uh, you know, want to talk a little bit about the oil or any, uh, you know, the turbo setup, stuff like that? Yeah, so the turbo setup, uh, we work with 
uh, Midwest Turbo CRT, and we wanted to run something we were familiar with, but something that wasn't going to let us down on power. So um, we worked with them on figuring out some compressor wheel stuff, see what would work, and we're really happy with it. It comes up super easy. We had a spool stage if we would need it to kind of tickle it with nitrous to bring it to life, but we didn't even need it. The turbo worked really good, and the fuel system, uh, we could, you, I told you about that already. That was pretty unchanged. The oil, um, we have not really found anything that's exactly like perfect or not perfect. We haven't had any oil issues or anything. So, um, but we run 50 weight in it. So, it's just it's, it's been good with that. And yeah, the other stuff's pretty similar to how we were last year. It's got Wagler rods, a fluid dampener. Um, Manton push rods, Manton valve train. It's got their roller, roller valve train set up in it. But now I know drag racing was yesterday. Yep. And today's a dyno competition, and uh, you know there's been a number of guys up there already, getting a little over 2,000 horsepower. You know how are you, how are you feeling for today? You know where do you think you might fall? Um, I'm not really sure. Our horsepower calculator shows we were around 1,800 ish yesterday going down the drag strip, which. I think that's a respectable drag racing number, but that's not going to get us in the on the podium like you were saying on the dyno. So, this this event, um, we're going to fuel it a little bit harder and see if we can uh, do a, a little bit different things with the nitrous. But we we're kind of getting into the lean side on the nitrous, which actually on these it started to cool it back off. Uh, it makes seemed like it made a little bit less power once it got into the lean like uh, you up up the jet size and you wouldn't gain as much as when it was in a really rich condition um, but it uh, it makes a lot more power if you hit it with the same jet when a really rich condition it picked up a ton of power so we richened it up a little bit and we're gonna probably run the same jets and see if we can make that 2,000 horsepower number yeah but awesome and then you got sled pulling on Sunday yep. And uh, you know, how do you guys feel about that in terms of the setup for the truck? So I'm not a sled puller. The only time I've ever sled pulled was at UCC two years ago. Uh, but the truck did good, and it's an extended cab long bed, so it's right at home sled pulling. Right. But um, I feel pretty good about it. The I'm comfortable with the chassis setup on it, and uh, I know it makes plenty of power for it. And uh, so I feel pretty good about that. I just the dyno has always been my my weak point. I just gotcha. never could get it to make the number that we wanted. Uh, other time we kicked the tires on the dyno because we didn't know how to strap it down properly. <laughs> so I don't know. It's just always been an issue for us, yeah. but hopefully it. not. Yeah. Well, we wish you the best of luck Thank uh, you. in the rest of the competition. We appreciate you giving us some of your time. You got an awesome truck and engine set up. Thanks. And uh, guys, if you guys are in the Colorado area, Granby Truck Shop, awesome spot to check out. Make sure you see, uh, check them out on social media. Check us out at Engine Builder for more diesel and engine content. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.